Today I'm going to show you the new range of paints from Goblin Snot. Very easy to use. Um, we'll do a white one first. Right, we're going to start off with some white paint. Take the top off. I've just shook it a couple of seconds. Squeeze the bottle gently until a little bit of paint comes out of the centre. As you can see that the farm has already been primed because we've already used it. But Gently move the paint bottle from the tape on the shaft down to the knock end. If you need a little bit more paint, it's going a bit dry, just give it a little squeeze, put a little bit more on. And as you're doing it, just rotate the shaft in your hand so you get a nice even coverage. And here we go, just make sure there's no runs or any ridges left. Right, there you go. You can see how easily it's covered. You can still see a little bit of grain through, so if you want it to look more like a a paint finish without seeing any of the grain below it, just give it another coat and that should cover it. Now we'll do some blue. These are darker colours so you can see how it works. A little bit more paint, give it a squeeze. Make sure it covers where the tape is. And just gently rub it onto the wooden shaft. Down towards the knock end. And as you can see, the blue goes on really nice. Again, that's just one coat. There you go. Right, here's one that we did earlier, it's a purple one, so we're just going to peel the tape off. And you can see, it's quite a good finish. We use a, a jig to give us the length and the tape is applied onto it. So they all come out exactly the same. And as you can see, it's quite good. You can either leave them as they are, or use a, a fine liner with a brush on a cresting machine, just to finish it off with a different colour. Right, we're going to add a little bit of varnish on this now. Exactly the same. We'll just do this back end just to show you. Again, we're just going to prime it a little bit and just rub it on. And again, that's how easy it is to apply your varnish. 